Hello again there teachers, John here with Educational Technology, and today we're going to take one little step to try and understand a little bit more between the teacher view and the student view in Google Meet, and specifically how to make sure we're setting this all up correctly when we are presenting. So just first off, because I know my screen already probably looks confusing to you, I just want to be clear about what exactly you're looking at. Here on the right hand side, this window is my view. My view as in I am the teacher view. On here, here on the left, this is a student view. So this window is currently logged in as a student. So I just want you guys to be aware, I'll try to keep some um, labels up there so that you know, but just know that what you see on the right hand side is gonna be your view as the teacher. What you see on the left hand side is gonna be a student view so that you understand what they're seeing and what they may need to do or change on their end to see what you want them to do. So. Mostly what I want to talk about today is your presentation modes. And when I say that, what I mean is down here at the bottom, you have this little uh, square share icon and it says present now. When you click on that, you should have three options on what you're going to share. And there are advantages, uh, pros and cons to all three of these. Number one would be your entire screen. And that's exactly as it sounds. You are sharing your entire screen. So if I were to choose this, choose my screen and then click on share, students will now see my entire screen. So you see that over here on the left. This is the student view. They now see my entire screen, period. And as some of you may have noticed right there in that window that popped up, I am actually using two screens right now. So it does give you the option if you are using a second screen to share one screen or the other, but not both. So the advantages here are obviously just to say anything and everything I am working on, students can see. So if you're trying to show them something specifically outside of uh, the Meet, like say a, um, a Microsoft Word document, this might be your better choice so that they can see everything you're working on. Please note, when you are sharing full screen, they do not get audio or system audio. So if you're trying to play a video, this is not the way we would recommend. Okay, so that is... Um, full screen. And by the way, I also want you to notice that when I look at, when you start presenting, when I look at my attendee list, you are technically have two different presentation or two people in the room now. So if you're advising your students to pin you to the top while you're presenting, be careful. They don't want to pin you. They want to pin you at where it says presenting. So students would want to, like in the student view, they would want to pin the presentation here. This is who's, who they would want to pin, the presentation, not you. Because if they pin you, they're not going to see or hear you. You just want to make sure it's the presentation. Okay, so that is full screen. Let me stop that and let's talk about the next one. The next one down says a window. Now a window is basically when you see the uh, close, minimize, maximize, icons either on the left if you're on a Mac or on the right if you're on a Windows Windows machine. That whole thing that you can move around like this, that is a window. So you want to make sure that if you are sharing a window, you understand what exactly you're sharing. So if I were to, uh, for example, let's say I have a Word document. Okay, here's a Word document. Now if I grab that and move it, I notice there are no separate ribbons or tabs at the top. It is all one window. So technically I should be able to use that share window so that my students can see it. And let's try that. So if I go to share window, you should have now the option to choose what window it is. I want this Microsoft Word window, share. And now that is what students will see. And again, they will see just that window. Uh, you should know that you can work in that window, see how the mouse moves over on the left, and you can move outside of that window. If I move the window, it does not change what the students see. It's still just that window. You should also note that just like with full screen, this does not support audio. So this is just if you want to show them one application or one window, but you don't want to worry about anything else that happens to be open on your desktop or that might distract them from what you're teaching. So that is a window share. Uh, again, on the student side, if they're going to pin, they need to pin the one that says presentation, this one, not you. Because if they pin you, they might hear you, but they're probably not going to see anything. Uh, likewise, it's good to know, uh, to instruct students if you need to, that they might need to change their layout. So for example, if they have grid view enabled, they're going to see your presentation, but it's probably going to be tiny with the other 36 people in the room. 
So if that's the case, they'd want to turn off grid view and then check under change layout. The, most likely at the default is spotlight, but sidebar is also very useful in this case. And notice in my view, by the way, that I'm only seeing the one student and myself. If I turn off grid view so you get a native view, so for example, if you're on an iPad, this is what they will see. Or I'm sorry, this is what you will see. You will see that you are presenting. It's not giving you a preview of what you're presenting because they're assuming that you know what you're presenting. But you will see some students here on the side in that view. You can change your layout, by the way, by going under Change Layout and say you want to do Spotlight, then you're just seeing your presentation. But again, since it's you, you most likely still want to see some of your students. For those of you asking, you can keep a tiled view to still see all of your students in one window and then also see um, whatever it is that you're presenting. So once again, that was, that was presenting one window. The last option says present a Chrome tab. Now this is very important. Notice it doesn't just say a browser tab, it says a Chrome tab. So in this case, you need to make sure that you are using Google Chrome. This feature is only supported in Google Chrome. If you want to share something with students that is just a tab, this is the one you'd want to choose. So if you're like me and you've got a million things open on your desktop and you're attempting to multitask, you want to, but you only want to share one thing, a tab might be your best bet. This is also the best scenario if you want to play a video, by the way, and I'll show you why. As soon as I click on a Chrome tab and I'm going to choose the video that I have open, so in this case it's a YouTube video, you have this extra option here at the bottom that says share audio. Make sure you check share audio. If you don't, they're going to see the tab, but they're not going to hear anything. So make sure that you check shared audio and then click on share and they're going to see just that tab. So again, remember on the right is teacher view, on the left is student view. So now when I play it, and this is going to sound like a mess because they're both being recorded, when you press play for audio, students will also get the audio in their view. So again, make sure if you want to share audio, you are using the shared tab, Chrome tab option. And I think that's it for this time. So remember, entire screen is literally your entire screen. Window is just one window where you can click and drag and see what exactly it is you're sharing. And a Chrome tab would be just a tab, but it's, it's your only option if you need or want to share a video with audio. Hope that helps everybody. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon. And remember, you cannot be an analog teacher in a digital world.